Why are we talking about Arizona at all? We're talking about Arizona because the Latino and Latina community stood up. So that's why today is so important. November 3rd, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, November 3rd, 2020, 2020. It's so important for those who cannot vote, get out and vote for them, rock the vote, right? The Republicans, what are they doing? They're locking up kids, they're taking children from their parents, they're displacing families, they are separating families, and thousands and thousands of children are ending up missing as well as their parents. They are dying in those concentration camps. This is by the hands of the Republicans, right? So like I said, Democrats created the private prison system and the Republicans are creating these FEMA concentration camps. They're both cashing in on brown and black peoples. What can we do? They always talk about the black vote. And, you know, we've spent a lot of time this year, thankfully, talking about African-Americans, African-American issues, etc. We got a new force on the field now, the Latino community, Latina community. And you got to look at the relationship between the Democratic Party and this community now. So the Democrats found a way to profit off of black and brown peoples through their privatized prison system. The Republicans have found a way to cash in on brown and blacks through their detention centers and concentration camps and displacements of families. Okay. So now that we know that the Democrats and the Republicans both fuck us, what can we do for us? We need the black vote to come out and pick, right? That's why I say that the face of America, America is white and black, right? Through their movies, through their entertainment system, through their politics, it, 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 they cannot allow a brown face to be the face. You get what I'm saying? Because we are white and black very threat of existence on this land right because it is the brown man and woman that are the only native indigenous peoples to this land you get that so that's why they always talk about the black vote black lives matters which they do um but that's why blacks always have to be the face of a movement because it cannot be the brown native indigenous man or woman. They fear that. They fear that. I think what I'm hearing from a lot of people on the ground in Arizona, they feel overgeneralization, underrepresentation, underinvestment across the board for Latinos. Overgeneralization. We got to stop acting like all Latinos and Latinas are the same people. A Cuban is not the same as a Puerto Rican, is not the that. same as a Gu Guatemalan, and, and that is demonstrated now. We've got to be much more sophisticated about this community. Underrepresentation. Name a single prominent Latino or Latina throughout the Democratic Party in this past race. It's very hard to do. Now I know people say, oh, what well, are we going to vote for? Because we got to put ourselves in positions of power. Vote for people who are going to take care of you, right? Vote for people who are going to help your school district, your community, your people become better, right? That's why you want to vote. Because like I said earlier, Democrats and Republicans, they both fuck us. They both make money off of brown and black people. Is what they do, right? Uh, uh, so we have to put ourselves in positions of power to be able to help us, right? See, voting, people say that the votes doesn't matter, right? You get people going to Trump's rallies, not giving a fuck about this corona, putting their lives on the line to make sure white power stays white power. So you can't say that voting doesn't matter because these people are willing to go die to support a crazy motherfucker <laughs> to keep him in power. A, a, a vote kind of matters. People are sitting in prison for over 20 years right now because they fought for the right to give people of color to vote and women to vote 
a vote kind of matters. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm just what I'm trying to say is that Democrats, Republicans, yes, they both cash in on us. They both fuck us. They both mistreat us. But at the end of the day, that's our fault. That's our fault because we have chosen to not step up to the plate. We have chosen not to fight for ourselves. Marching is a beautiful thing. It brings awareness. It wakes up the people. But motherfuckers ain't ready to fucking take up arms, destroy buildings. It do what it has to do to take back the land. Social media, don't fall for that shit, man. Social media says a lot of beautiful things, but that's all they saying, right? They, they, they that guy, social media is that guy who sits at home smoking weed all damn day, talking about what people need to do to hustle and make a dollar. While the hustler is out on the streets doing what he has to do to make that dollar. Don't be that guy sitting at home just smoking weed. Get out, hustle, right? 2020, get out and vote. And like I said, Democrats and Republicans both fuck us. Both profit off of us. But what we can do is, like I said, put ourselves in position of power. Create more AOCs. Put more people in positions of power. Congress, Senate, City Council, District, Mayors, Governors. Name a single prominent Latino or Latina throughout the Democratic Party in this past race is very hard to do. And lastly, underinvestment. You got groups, Lucha, uh, uh, Mi Familia Vota in Arizona, uh, Poder Latinx in Florida. They didn't get the support they deserved until very late, and some not at all. So all I want to say is the reason we're talking about Arizona is because there's a community of people that was being picked on and mistreated anti-immigrant attacks against them that forced them to organize themselves. Yeah. And it's their strength that's actually brought this state across into the blue column, and we're going to have to reevaluate our relationship to that community. Yeah.